Kristen Bell says cameras missed a top-tier performance, the one she gave while pitching her new Netflix series, a satire on psychological thrillers like The Woman in the Window and The Girl on the Train. Trying to convince different networks and streaming platforms what we were trying to do wh. Trust me, it's going to be funny, and it's going to be scary and suspenseful. Bell is an executive producer for The Woman in the House across the street from The Girl in the Window, an eight-part limited series now streaming. She portrays Anna, a woman weighed down by grief following the death of her young daughter three years earlier, which resulted in the crumbling of her marriage. She spends her days observing life in the neighborhood and becomes infatuated with a new neighbor, Neil, Tom Riley, a good-looking single dad whom she grows suspicious of after seemingly witnessing a murder at his house through her window. But Anna's tendency to mix booze and medication can cause hallucinations, so Teresa chants she saw nothing at all. Anna leans into the typical characteristics of protagonists in these types of thrillers for comedic purposes. She drinks red wine, not by the glass, but by the bottle. Instead of being agoraphobic, like Amy Adams' character in Netflix The Woman in the Window, for example, Anna has a paralyzing fear of rain. The show starts out subtle, but you start to notice the cliches, says Belle. For instance, my character's self-absorbed personality. She is an artist, and she can't paint anymore, due to her grief. But she knows she should because she thinks she's too good. And you see her paintings, and they're very average. Belle says the character is the least like me I've ever played because I don't drink or stare at my neighbors. But she sees Anna as ultimately a kind person at heart, and she is sincere. Co-creator Rachel Ramris, an avid reader of this genre. Ours is totally committed to being a thriller, while at the same time pushing certain elements to such an extent that you could find it absurd and let yourself laugh at it. It's like we took a psychological thriller and turned everything up to an 11, Dorf says. Ramaris said the writing team worked with Sharp Objects creator Marty Noxon on an outline for the woman in the house to ensure the series played out like a true thriller.